So y'all have a sheet that's each of these um, boxes. And this basically is kind of a dry way of showing you how a bill becomes a law in Texas. And um, the top two little boxes say that the bill is read and then assigned to a committee. So where we stand um, is we have one bill filed and assigned to a committee, and that's HB 507. It's been, sorry, it's been assigned to criminal jurisprudence in the House, HB 507 has. So um, it's important to know that basically on these committees, the chairmanship is really important, the vice chair is important, and Representative Moody is the vice chair, so that's great for us on criminal jurisprudence. Um, so in the Senate side, the, the companion committee for that would be cr uh, criminal justice, and that's chaired by Whitmire and vice chaired by Joan Huffman. So those are two really important people on that committee. So basically your chair can kill a bill if they really don't want to hear it. They kind of have the power to kill something right then and there. Um, so in the House, we need to make sure that Abel Herrero on criminal jurisprudence is willing to hear HP 507. I'm sure Rhett Moody has done a lot of work to lay that groundwork. And we need to make uh, sure that all the other people on that committee uh, are voting favorably and we get a majority vote out of that committee. And so um, that's going to be on these little cards. You'll know who, who is on which committee. Um, on the health side, it's going to be the committee's called Public Health in the House. And the chair of that is Myra Crownover. And I can't remember the vice chair on that side. Um, in the Senate, it's called Health and Human Services. And the chair of that is Charles Schwartner. Vice chair <laughs> is Lois Colthorst. So it's just important, y'all don't have to remember these names because it'll be on your card or wherever you're assigned, but it's important to know that those are important committees, important people on those committees, and that's the first pass. That's, that's who it has to get through. That's who can kill the bill. That's where it can't die. Um, and it first has to be filed. So what y'all can be asking for these other three bills that haven't even been filed, a companion to HB 507 in the Senate, or a health, medical marijuana bill on, in either the House or the Senate, you can be asking your senators and uh, representatives, will you sponsor this bill? Because it hasn't been filed yet. Uh, and, if, and if you're talking about HB 507, you ask them, can you co-sponsor this bill? So ask, a, ask them that question and see what they say. And a lot of them are gonna be like, I can't, I'm a staffer, I can't answer that question, but I'll, I'll ask them, and that'll be your follow-up question. As I really, you know, if you feel like they're supportive, go that extra mile and they should sponsor or co-sponsor. Um, so basically, if the chair allows it, then there'll be a hearing, a public hearing on the bill. Um, and that's when everybody comes to Austin and testifies, and I'm sure Heather will help organize that when we get to that point of a public hearing on HB 507 and hopefully these other bills. Um, and then it can pass, it, they can decide to vote or they can decide not to vote. They don't even have to vote after a hearing. So they could kill it right then by deciding that the chair can decide I'm not even going to allow a vote on this. Uh, but if it's voted out by a majority, then in the House it goes to a place called Calendars Committee. And I can't remember, I think it's um, Todd Hunter in the House is the chair of Calendars. Uh, and I think he's out of Corpus area. Uh, so in Calendars, that's a tough committee to get through because they can again kill the bill right there. And they can just decide, well, we'll put this on a calendar so late in the year that it'll never get gone to, or we don't have to assign it at all. So it's important to note that in the House. In the Senate, it's a little different. They used to have a two-thirds rule, but they changed that this year. So you only have to have, basically you have to have 19 people in the Senate saying, we want to even discuss this bill, voting in favor to even allow the bill on the floor for discussion in the Senate. So, um, so in the Senate, it is important to know who you have as a favorable vote and say, like, would you vote for that? If, if we got it through committee, would you vote for that? If, you're, if your senator is even on any kind of committee that's looking at this. Um, and then once it gets to the floor, um, so if it gets out of calendars in the House, then it goes to the floor, and if it gets that vote in the Senate, then it goes to the floor, and that's where they can amend the heck out of it. So that's, we've never gotten to that point before. So that will be a, that would be a, a win if we got a floor vote alone. Um, so I'm just telling you this to let you know that this is a very short amount of time for a lot to happen, and it has to go through both sides in order for the bill to become law in Texas. So it's just a lot, a lot of activity that has to happen in a short amount of time. So it's great that y'all are here and really serious about this. 
Um, it's great that we have a representative like Rep. Moody who's working so hard on HB 507. And um, what I would say in terms of, like for these meetings that y'all are going on today, what I typically do is in going into an office is saying like, hi, I'm Zoe Russell, I'm with RAM, that's Republicans Against Marijuana Coalition, you know, kind of a controversial issue. Um, do you have somebody in your office that, someone on your staff that talk, that is over oversees marijuana issues, medical marijuana or criminal justice? And then you're not just talking to the very first person that you like, open the door to the office, you're talking to the intern, the lowest on the totem pole, you're talking to at least whoever's floating around the office that's going to be someone you want to talk to. So that's probably my biggest piece of information. And then just pay attention on your card, who's on the committee and what the ask is. If they're on the committee, then you know they're looking at it basically really soon, the, for the first line of action. So they need to have an opinion on this. It needs to be a good opinion. All right. Thanks, everyone. That's all. <laughs>